Hey everyone, Adam Zucker hanging out with Steve Lapis in the locker room here, previewing the East region as we move ahead to the Sweet 16. First up at the top of the bracket, UNC against the USC team that probably ended the career of Kevin Durant at Texas. Well, USC is a great defensive team. Tim Floyd has come in and put in that great half-court defense. And when you have a guy like Nick Young, who is such a versatile defender, he can guard everybody on the floor except Tyler Hansborough. That is going to be a lot for North Carolina to deal with. North Carolina, Tyler Hansborough, 33 points in that game the other day. They have a very, very young team, but a very athletic team that can get up and down the floor. But I think USC is going to try and make it a knockdown, drag it, slow down affair. Is this a tougher matchup for the Tar Heels than Texas would have been? I think this is a tougher matchup because this is a more physical defensive team that they're playing as opposed to Texas, which is more of an offensive team. So I think in this case, it's, and it's always much easier to slow the pace of a game down than to speed it up. I think USC is going to try to keep North Carolina in a half-court situation, which will make it difficult for them to get off on their vaunted running game. All right, then two very physical teams at the bottom half of the East region, Vanderbilt, Georgetown, let the let the elbows fly. Again, two very different styles. You have a team that's dominated by two big guys in Jeff Green and Roy Hibbert of Georgetown, and then you have a team that's dominated by tremendous three-point shooters in Derek Byers and Shan Foster. That's one of the best three-point shooting teams in the country in Vanderbilt. They're going to need it in this game. Georgetown plays a lot of matchup zone. Vanderbilt's going to need to hit some threes. The big question is, how are they going to deal with Hibbert and Green when that is not their strength? But when you have great guards that can shoot the ball, you always have a chance. All right, who's winning each game? Well, I'm going to go with the Hoyas in terms of that game against... Uh Against Vandy, Against maybe. Vandy. I'm going to go with the Hoyas in that game. I think the Hoyas, just the way they play on their offense, and those two big guys will dominate the game. And I'm going with the Tar Heels against USC. But that one's going to be a tough game for the Heels. All right, he's Steve Lapis. I'm Adam Zucker. We're trying to deal with the days off between games.